Welcome to the Citizens Informational Workshop Number 3, Detailed Study Alternatives for the Kinston Bypass Project. The purpose of this evening's workshop is to review input received from the public at the September 2011 Citizens Informational Workshops, present alternatives selected by the interagency team for detailed study, and discuss the next steps in the project. The workshop also provides a forum for the NCDOT to gather information and comments about the project and to answer any questions you may have. A review of project history shows the Kinston Bypass was listed in the Kinston Urban Area Thoroughfare Plan in October 1993. NCDOT began environmental and engineering studies for the Kinston Bypass Project in the 1990s. However, the project was placed on hold as the Crescent Road Project, also known as the Felix Harvey Parkway, became a higher priority due to the global Transpark industrial development. In October 2007, the project was listed in the City of Kenston Comprehensive Transportation Plan, and in May of 2009, the NCDOT officially restarted the project. This project will follow what is called the merger process. The merger process requires representatives from local, state, and federal agencies to agree on major decisions about the project before proceeding to the next step. In addition to public comments received on the project, local input is represented on the interagency team including members from the Down East Rural Planning Organization and the Eastern Carolina Rural Planning Organization. The interagency team agreed to the project study area shown here in red. The project study area, as shown, includes nearly all of Lenore County and parts of Jones and Craven counties. Within the study area, access to and from US-70 and US-70 bypass mostly consists of driveways for homes and businesses, as well as intersections controlled with stop signs and traffic signals. High traffic volumes, combined with no control of access, result in stop-and-go conditions during daily rush hours. After considering public comments received at the February 2010 Citizens Informational Workshops, the interagency team agreed that needs for the project included traffic congestion, capacity deficiencies, and through traffic delays on US-70 between LaGrange and Dover. Based on the needs identified for the project, the interagency team agreed that alternatives would be developed to fulfill the purpose of the project, which includes improving regional mobility, connectivity, and capacity for US-70 between LaGrange and Dover in a manner that meets the intent of the Strategic Highway Corridor Plan for US-70. According to the Strategic Highway Corridor Plan, this section of US-70 is designated as a freeway. As a freeway, access to and from the proposed road would only be allowed at interchanges. At the second Citizens Informational Workshop, held in September 2011, NCDOT representatives reviewed the process followed for developing potential route options that would meet the purpose of the project. NCDOT asked the public to provide input on the potential route options shown here in blue. Based on public comments received, the NCDOT revised and refined the potential route options with the purple lines representing route segments that were added and the red line representing a route segment that was moved. NCDOT presented 41 draft preliminary corridor possibilities at Citizens Informational Workshop Number 2. However, after implementing the public input, 62 draft preliminary corridors resulted. Impacts for 62 draft preliminary corridors were calculated and presented to the interagency team on November 17, 2011, in order to identify alternatives to be carried forward for detailed study. From this information, the interagency team selected the 17 draft preliminary corridors as the detailed study alternatives. 
On the map, the northern corridors are shown in blue. Upgrade existing corridor is shown in orange, and the southern corridors are shown in green. Over the next year, the project team will be developing designs for the detailed study alternatives, which will include interchanges at the main roads, overpasses at the minor roads, and service roads to provide access to properties adjacent to the detailed study alternatives. Once the designs are done, multiple technical studies will be prepared to identify the direct and indirect effects each detailed study alternative will have on the human and natural environments. This timeline shows the major milestones for the project study, which will take several years to complete. Public involvement opportunities will be available throughout the study. As you can see by looking at the timeline, right-of-way acquisition will not occur until 2020, and construction of the project has still not been funded. The project timeline is also provided in the workshop handout. For information throughout the project development process, please feel free to contact either the consultant project manager, Chris Werner, or the NCDOT project manager, Mark Pierce. Their contact information is included on the materials that were provided to you at the sign-in table. NCDOT representatives are available at each station workshop for you to ask questions. Additionally, should you have any comments on the project, you may complete a comment sheet tonight or send them to Chris Werner by June 17, 2012. We thank you for your participation. Please proceed to the next workshop station.